Why would you not be renewing Mart Sutton? It makes no sense. It makes it feel shifty. Shocking developments out of Central Unified tonight. The Board of Trustees voting to oust Superintendent Mark Sutton over strong objections from the community, as you just heard. Hundreds of people showed up in support of Mr. Sutton today, calling for his contract renewal. Angry parents told Action News reporter Christina Fan they feel betrayed. Christina? That's right, Liz. That is exactly how parents felt. Many of them thought that Mark Sutton would be safe until at least June. That is when his contract was originally set to expire. But then trustees walked out of a closed session meeting today with a decision that many didn't see coming. A board meeting that started with thunderous applause for its superintendent ended in silent condemnation of its board members. It's ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. Families watched as the man they came to support at this meeting was ousted in front of their very eyes. They're not going to find somebody like Mark Sutton to replace. They lost the superintendent. Mark Sutton came to the district three years ago and quickly won over parents, teachers, and students. Many came to his defense when rumors started spreading that trustees weren't going to renew his contract. I'm really disappointed that our elected board has not represented the people of this community. Since early February, supporters have been packing these meetings, thinking public opinion would be enough to sway the board. It wasn't. Trustees voted four to three to terminate him without cause, shocking the entire room. Some of them, I think they have their own personal agenda is so entrenched that they could really care less what we think. Why would you not renew him? There's a bunch of, you saw tonight, there's a bunch of family members. Everyone was out here supporting him. So why is the reason that you don't like him? Board President Cesar Granda could not answer that question Tuesday. He voted for terminating Sutton, but says confidentiality prevents him from explaining why. As a board member, there, uh, it's a closed session item and we can't discuss employment decisions. Families say they may have lost Sutton, but their fight against the board is far from over. And because Sutton was terminated effectively, the question now is who is in charge of the district? The responsibility now falls on three assistant superintendents. An interim is expected to be named next week at a special board meeting. Reporting live from Northwest Fresno, Christina Fan, ABC 30, Action News.